Genyun or Cloud Retainer is a character who can make everyone do evil conquering. She can heal your characters too. Oh, and she's a bird. Now, I don't really know how she's supposed to be played, so I just went ahead and tried three different scuffed builds, featuring Xiao Yun, the Xiao build, Clout Retainer, the screenshot build, and Clam Retainer, the healer build. But before all that, here's proof that Hoyoverse is actually a generous gacha company. Not really. But yeah, basically the plan for this stream, just try to get her. So I don't have a lot of primo gems, I only have like 6k right now. I'm not sure if I want to spend my Genesis Crystals trying to get her. Because I might get the Shenhe skin. The Shenhe skin and the Ganyu skin. Uh, these skins are the definition of if cryo, why hot. But yeah, I have like 2,900 Genesis Crystals. I could actually buy both of them, but I don't have Ganyu though, so it's gonna be a waste. Oh, there are cranes here as well. Boom. Snipe the crane. And we get two fouls. Let's see if I could snipe Cloud Retainer like how I sniped the crane. I'm on 50-50. We got Raiden Shogun last time. Two pulls in, so pretty low on the pity. Anyways, let's give it a shot. This is the first 10 pull. If this is gaming, I I'm, I'm cool if we get gaming. Fu- Hold on. Is there any way I could check the- Oh god damn. God damn. Wait, it actually looks so good though. Look at the details, bruh. I'll decide if I'll get the Shenha skin, depending on how our pulls go. 20 right now. Oh, okay. Wait. Uh, is this the, is this the redemption arc for my lost 50-50 last time? <laughs> Please let this be, let this be her. I just want her for the gameplay. Definitely, definitely just for the gameplay. Oh, wow, okay. Clout Retainer, please. No! <sighs> no. I think I'm just gonna go all out. Who knows, maybe I'll get another early. That's so sad, what the hell, bro? I don't even know what constellation that is for me. C3 maybe? Oh, C4. The pit he has reset though, so. I'm just gonna, let's just. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. 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 <laughs> Wait, all of my bad luck last time is now being compensated. Thank you, Hoyoverse. What a generous gacha game. Oh, and we got- we got gaming as well. Free to play gaming. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Pretty good temple, if I do say so myself. And I still have- <laughs> 2,800 primo gems left. Okay, that's a big W right there. Oh, bruh. I could even buy the Shenha skin, actually. Yo, let's go. Okay, yeah, we're definitely... Yeah, yeah, I'm, ge I'm getting the I'm getting the Shenha skin. Imagine I buy the Ganyu skin instead. All right, it's done. Let's go. Black looks so good on her, though. Maybe it's the contrast between her hair and her outfit, but wait, I, I want to see how it looks, though. <laughs> Okay, there we go. I actually switched to uh, Ayaka's default skin for now. I don't know, maybe I just got bored of the <laughs> of, of her skin, so I just switched back to the default, but I mean, it doesn't change the animations though, but the highlight though is Shan Yun. I have no idea what she does. I know she can make your characters jump high. Does this mean Venti's E is power crap right now? Press E two more times while in the air. Oh! Wow, so that's like exploration power creep as well. It's like Kazuha's E, but more vertical distance. I mean, horizontal distance. Let me show you guys what I'm going to be doing right now. Three setups right here. We got the Xiao Yun, because plunging attacks, obviously. We got the Clam Retainer, which is the healer build, because her burst heals, so that could be some source of damage for the clam. And then we got clout retainer for the clout, uh, which is basically just screenshot, screenshot build. But yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and start with plunging attack. So without further ado, I guess I can show you the stats. 1.7k attack. Pretty high crit damage. Crit rate is meh, but we can fix that. 61.6% uh, animal. Also for the crit, I think it's alright because she she does have this. This is basically 
10%, right? It's basically a 10% crit rate boost. Obviously, Wood Sith, it's just a pretty good weapon for the numbers. We got 4-piece VV, but not because of the 4-piece. It just so happened that my best animo pieces are in the VV set. So here are the pieces. Boom. All right. C0. Talents 111. Okay, I, I think I'm going to level up each of our talents to level 8. Seven eight seven right now. Obviously, we gotta use Farozan. Increase her base attack by giving her the Amos bow. And then artifacts. I don't think she really needs anything. She's only here for her burst. <laughs> her burst for the animo buff. Also, I have C6, so 40% more crit damage right there. And she also shreds animo resistance, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't she doesn't need anything. She's fine. We got Bennett because yes. We got the Noblesse. Okay, that, that should be good. I'll just go for Rina, maybe. <laughs> Let's go for Rina. So I'm not gonna look at the numbers, but I'm gonna try to keep track of it at least. Yeah, it's 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 pretty hard to see the numbers. Yep, okay. I see a 33k, but that's without Bennett. Boom. <laughs> okay, that didn't crit. Goddamn, okay, that's... Her animations are pretty cool. Oh my goodness, okay, hold on. I need... Oh, what the... Okay, let's see. I still don't have my burst, though. Goddamn, okay, there was a 31k again. Alright, we can see the plunge attacks now. 22k they do have shields so that's not like it's not the maximum damage what the <laughs> just jumped with the slime the mid-air battle right there this would probably be better if i had if i had energy recharge on my farzan but that was a 41k just i feel like we could reach 100k with uh with just oh, with everything i mean you can do that as well Ooh, I think that's the highest damage so far. Oh, that's 11k. Damn, I didn't even see the damage. I guess the regular plunge attacks are not... The damage is not very high. But when I do the, the triple E and then go into a plunge attack with her E skill, then that, that deals more damage, I think. Yeah, like that. I guess that's uh, the most damage. <laughs> okay. Ooh, 42k? No Bennett, though. You know what? Never mind. Okay, wait. So, floor 11 has 75% animo damage. So, I guess this is where we're going to see the highest plunge attack damage, hopefully. Oh, what the? Okay, yup, that is officially the highest damage from the plunge attacks. Yeah. Oh, there's another 55k right there. <laughs> the animo boost is boosting right now. Damn, my far Farzan still deals a lot of damage. Even though she doesn't have any artifacts on. What if I try plunge attack Bennett? with his burst up. I mean... <laughs> okay. I mean, I could probably reach the thingy. Just knock it down. Okay. Oh! That was a 97k without... Without Bennett. Can we crit? Ooh, okay. 164k. Oh, that's probably the highest. Boom. Okay, not. Oh, no, she's dead. Yeah, this really is where I'm gonna die. Alright, I'm gonna try it one more time. If I die again, then it's over. Oh, bruh. I think this is over for this run. 
I could say though, with confidence, Xiao Yun, the plunge attack setup, pretty fun, pretty fun. Mostly because of her E. Being mobile, it's just fun, <laughs> I guess. You could even change directions mid-air. Like you could E, E, and then... Yup, you could. Let me see if I could change directions twice. Like, one, two, and then three. So you could, kinda. Anyways, yeah, that is the plunging attack, Xiao Yun. But now we're gonna do the better setup, Clam Retainer. Here, her healing scales off of her attack. Doesn't say base attack, so I'm guessing it's just her total attack. Yeah, we're gonna go Eye of Perception then, cause we just have flat attack percent right there. Th those curves are, yes, very curvy. Anyways, uh, attack stat right now, 3k, so not 4k. The only 4k is me being caught in 4k, but okay, so my only clam set is on Barbara right now. So I guess I can't use my Shenhe artifacts. So my attack is not very high then. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Oh wow. So the heals are from her... Oh! That's a... <laughs> we already reached the max. That's 29k. 29,699. So I'm pretty sure like around 30k is the maximum you could deal with the clam set. Let's try this again. Just use her burst, right? And just go around. Oh my gosh. What the... Oh, there we go. There was a 30, 30, 31k or something. There we go. 33749. Pretty sure it doesn't get higher than that. Let's try this again. Just the normal burst. 18k. Oh, it's just 18k without the shreds from the supports. Oh, there's a 21k though. I guess that's it for the clam retainer. Pretty, pretty quick right there. All right, final thing I'm gonna do. Cloud retainer. Of course, we gotta chase the cloud. We gotta chase the screenshots. And the easiest place for me to do this is Mr. Scaramushi. Let's do this. Bennett. Oh my gosh. A lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Triple E and boom. What the fuck? I think Scaramouche just died. Not even from my burst. All right. Uh, we gotta do this again at level 70. Second attempt. Okay, no crit. Th thank you very much. First. Triple E. And... What the? We just fell to his feet, man. Wait, what weapon am I, am I even? Bro, I'm using the Eye of Perception. That's, that's why I had 30% less crit damage. Okay. This is for sure gonna be the run now, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. One, two, three. No! Oh! Wait! Okay, that was 200 something K. Okay. <laughs> yes, um, I'm satisfied with that. That is the clout, clout chasing build right there. Jianyun, cloud retainer. Uh, bird, not a furry, by the way. Technically not a furry, because birds don't have furry. Yeah, you know what? 